Okay, sometimes you just got to start the program. This is what I'm doing. The Village's market analysis. Fourth quarter came out a little while ago. I figured I would run the numbers. This does two things for, one, if you're a current owner, you kind of get the idea of your value going up from last year to this year. It's a helpful tool. doesn't mean exactly how much your house went up and what your value is, but the Villages is definitely a good investment when it comes to real estate. And I'm going to show you why by the numbers. Now, I've compared them up to the last four quarters and the fourth quarter of 2021. So let's jump into it. If you're new to looking at a house in the Villages, You'll find this interesting because it will give you the average cost of a home and how many homes they built. Can you believe this number? In 2022, the villages selling both pre-owned homes and new homes sold over $2.6 billion dollars in real estate 2.6 almost 2.7 and I'll show you the real estate in the pre-owned was a billion point one and new homes was a billion point five really but what does this all mean for you I'm gonna repeat this again I'm gonna show you on the screen 2021 year to date I'm going to show you first quarter second quarter third quarter fourth quarter totals I'm going to show you year to date 2022 I think they made an error in the 2021 report so we'll talk about that but what does this mean for you I know what it means for me my house is going up faster in value I believe then what it costs me annually. That's a great deal, if that turns out to be true. Let's look at the numbers. Here we go. So here's my spreadsheet that I did, so you can see. And I'm gonna show you, I will show you the 2021 Villages Report on the screen. I will, get, I will show that here, and you can see what their report looks like. Also within their report, they give a breakdown of areas. Great information, Spanish Springs area, Brownwood area, Sumter Landing. Now again, fourth quarter, 2021. And you can see where I got the numbers and I'm gonna highlight the numbers, but they're also gonna be on this spreadsheet. The other major numbers come from the fourth quarter, 2022. Now, I did plug in first, second, and third quarter into the numbers, so we can kind of look at what is trending and what is happening. I wish I had more reports in 2021 when I purchased, but I do think you can see a lot of trends here, and I think you'll find this helpful. The 2022 has a little different format than the 2021, but I picked certain categories. So let's, let me pull up the spreadsheet and kind of go over that. So here is the spreadsheet. So I separated into pre-owned homes close. I don't care about pending. That's not close. If I compare closed in each given year, it's a good guideline. It's not what's pending, uh, what people have signed a contract, but it hasn't closed. I did closed. Average sales price. Plugged in those numbers. Now this is under pre-owned and average days on the market. Under new, homes closed again, I went with average sales price. So I'm comparing everything the same. Average days on the market. And then for totals, totals home closed. That's on the report. So let's just go over those changes. In 2021, the average home sale was $371,000. In 2022, it's $478,000. Now, 
different types of homes. Every year could be different. They could have sold more designer homes in one year, more villas in another. This number, though, looking at over all of these homes, they sold 2,364 homes in 2022. But that was 754 less than the previous year. So the value, though, jumped $107,000. Jumped $107,000. Now, again, I'm still talking pre-owned. Now, pre-owned, some of it has gone up because of where the house is located. If you're buying in the Lake Sumter area, you're going to find those homes go for more because of location. Not necessarily quality of house, location. That's what realtors will tell you all the time, location, location. What was interesting is all those homes in 2021 averaged 30 days to close. But it was interesting in 2022, it started off as only 19 days to close in the first two quarters. Then it went up to 35, then to 47 but it still averages 29 throughout the year. But you can see a trend. Older homes are starting to take longer as the year went on to close. A lot more negotiation, I think, because of the economy. But on the average, it was one day less. But I think you can see a trend there going into 2023. If you have a a home in the villages and you want to sell it, there's a great chance it's going to take you longer to sell in 2023, looking at that trend. Now, new homes. I love to talk about new homes. New homes. They sold 4,004 in 2021. In 2022, they sold 3,749. A much smaller difference, 255 less homes. So, building... So when you look at the total number, they built almost the same. 255 homes, it's a, it's a lot of homes, but it's not that many when you're building 4,000 homes. It's a very small percentage. Average price, 371000 in 2021 to 418000 in 2022. Now I look at this number, unlike... The pre-owned homes that jumped 107,000, new homes jumped year after year by 47,000. And I'm going to say that probably is correct. When I looked at homes that were at 300,000, the new homes cost 20 to 30,000 more. Well, this kind of makes sense. People may, you know, the lower price homes jumped up. So the super low homes aren't as cheap as they were before. It's going to push that trend up. But it's a great sign if you're in that middle category, if you're about the average, if your house is growing at 47000 a year, in, it's not the same as a brand new house the year before. But I think you're covering your costs because a new home in that category is going to cost 20000 bucks a year. It's a great investment. I think that's a great investment. I think that's where the market is. Now, keep in mind, it's an average. You probably got a million dollar designer home that was sold and you got a whole bunch of $250,000 villas that were sold. So keep in mind, we're comparing the averages and in any given year, that number could go up or down. Average days on the market. This is where I say the 2021 report, that, that can't be right. That's 39 And I will show that report again. Fourth quarter, they have in the column uh, 39. No way. The homes were flying off the shelf. And if you look at the numbers, forget the 39. First quarter, eight. Eight days, six days, nine days. Fourth quarter was 15. That's almost a doubling for the fourth quarter. And I think that's the trend that you saw in the pre-owned taking a little longer, but the average was 10. There's no way in 2021, the average was 39. If somebody has the other reports for the four quarters of 2021, hey, send them to me because uh, take a picture of them because I'd love to make this chart a little bit better 
to see if there was any anomalies in there, but I don't trust the 39 for 2021 because when I look at that fourth quarter, that fourth quarter in 2021 was eight. It was eight. I know homes weren't taken all that long and they, the villages had a backlog of people looking. So I don't think 2021 it took longer than it did this year. So I would rule out that uh, you still don't have a lot of time when you're trying to buy in the villages in the sense of, uh, you know, days on the market. I don't think there's as many as you think. Even if there's a jump to 15, that would be reasonable. But I don't see 39. I don't see beyond the pre-owned. So let's get into totals. The villages, and the biggest chunk of this is they sold a thousand less homes. You can see it, a thousand and nine. They sold fewer homes than in 2021. And that could be a lot of factors, but most of those thousand is in the pre owned. So maybe during COVID and the end of COVID, people weren't selling that already owned a home. You don't know what that trend is. And again, I look at they were only 255 short of their new build cycle. So I'm not so sure that's showing a big slow up out of building 4,000 to dropping it to 3,749. And over here are my totals about, you know, a billion dollars. Remember, this is uh, in thousands. So when you think of 1.567 billion for just new home sales in 2022 and almost as much in reselling pre-owned homes that's a lot of activity those villages agents must be doing really good because that's a lot of money i hope you enjoyed this chart i hope you enjoyed this update i think what it means for me is the trend i see is homes are taking longer but the values are going up and I'd love to have previous reports to get a feel of how this value is going up because I'm finding a lot of people who comment under my previous videos were starting to talk that it was getting too expensive to live in the villages or the cost. And I get it. 20 years ago or back when they first started, it was modular homes, $80,000. That's not what it is today. Today, you're talking $240,000 for a start of a home, and then it's unlimited from there uh, in the sense you can find million-dollar homes. But I think the trend is taking a little bit longer to sell, but not all that much longer. It'll be interesting what 2023 brings, but I hope you enjoyed this year-to-year -year update. Um, I will do these as often as I can. I hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe to my channel. It helps me out. I really, it does help me out. And I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick overview. Now, keep in mind, these reports go into a lot more detail on areas. And I could do another video on areas at some other point, but I think... The bigger picture is more important. Thanks for watching.